Hello, my name is David from Marksware, and as a team, we'd like to thank you for purchasing q to id You have become one of literally thousands of people using this very popular Marksware Adobe InDesign plugin, which converts your Quark Express projects into Adobe InDesign CS2, CS3, or CS4 documents. It's literally as easy as one click once installed. As a note, q to id will open all versions of Quark Express, including, most importantly, version 6, 7, and 8. In this video, we will show you how to install your CUDA ID on a Macintosh or Windows computer. Please note that you need Adobe InDesign installed on your computer as CUDA ID is a plugin which works inside InDesign. It's not a standalone application. This movie is an instructional how-to which will get you your CUDA ID installed and up and running very quickly. We have another movie for FAQs or frequently asked questions which will go into more advanced troubleshooting. Okay, let's get started. My colleague Rick will walk you through the installation process now. Thank you. Here's what you receive when the product is purchased. When you receive the product digitally or by email or download, you'll see that the application is still compressed as a zip file. To unpack the file, just double click on the document, after which you'll find the plugins for both InDesign CS2, CS3, and CS4 in a separate folder. If you've received a CD, you'll find the unpacked version in the Install Software Q2ID folder. Topic number two, which version of the plugin to use? CS2, CS3, or CS4? If you're working with CS2, the plugin that you want to install is the one which ends with the name Framework. If you're working with CS3 or CS4, you'll need the plugin that ends with InDesign plugin. I'll now install Q2ID for CS3, but the folders I mentioned for CS3 are the same as in CS2 or CS4, only the plugin itself slightly differs. Topic number three where to find the destination folder. To enable the Q2ID plugin to work, you'll have to place it in the filter folder of the InDesign program itself. This is how to find that folder. Open your hard disk by double clicking on the HD icon and open the application folder from that window. You'll now see a folder named Adobe InDesign CS3. Open it by double clicking on it. Now find the plugins folder. Double click on it and within that folder you will find the filter folder. To be short, you can find the folder on Macintosh, for example at Macintosh hard drive slash applications slash Adobe InDesign slash plugins slash filters. The location of the filter folder on a Windows computer is much the same. Simply find the Adobe InDesign folder and within that you'll find the plugins folder and within that you'll find the filters folder. The only thing left to do now is to copy the right Q2ID plugin into this folder and you're ready to activate. Note that when you're installing an upgrade for Q2ID you need to delete the older version from this filters folder. Leaving it there will cause the plugin to fail. Topic number four, entering the activation code. When you start up InDesign after installing the plugin, you'll be prompted with the activation code window for Q2ID. The activation code can be found on the inside of the box if you've received the plugin on CD or it can be found in the email that you've received either from our online reseller Avangate or from your local reseller via email. When you've purchased an upgrade, you'll first have to enter the activation code from the update, after which you'll be asked to enter the activation code from the original full version. It is therefore wise to have older codes at hand when you start upgrading. Topic number five, how to convert the desired Quark Express file. Now that you've successfully installed and activated the Q2ID plugin, converting Quark files is now as easy as opening an InDesign file. Just go to the file menu and choose Open. In the file selection window that pops up, you were normally unable to select Quark files because they were grayed out. But with Q2ID installed, you're able to select any version of a Quark file and open it with the click of a button. A timeline will show the progress of the conversion after which the document will open as a new InDesign document ready to be edited and saved as an InDesign file. It's just that easy. Topic number six, 
registering your product. We at Marksway always advise you to register your product via http colon forward slash forward slash register dot marksware dot com. This will not only link the application you've purchased to you, but will also ensure that your activation code can be found at all times. History shows that this comes in very handy when you purchase an upgrade in the future and you can't find your old activation code, but it also ensures that you're able to reinstall your application after a crash or worse. Great, this should get your CUDA ID up and running. But please, if you have any further questions, you can watch one of our other films, such as the FAQ or Frequently Asked Questions film. If you have any comments or suggestions, always feel free to contact us. Our contact information can be found on our main webpage at www.markswarewithaz.com. We thank you for watching. I am confident Markswear's Qt ID plugin will save you a lot of time and money and simply make your life easier. Well, this is David signing off. Have a great day.